back in the Yard Treasure Inn, what we need to do is head up actually to the third floor, which is a place that we have not been to very much. In this game, at least, I remember it a lot more in first game. But back up to the third floor so we can get, uh, honestly, the final GS Path quest before we head off to the final dungeon. I know that doesn't make sense uh, too much, but uh, this game does not have a point of no return. Once you beat the game, uh, at least plot-wise, story-wise, you can still play. And I will be doing a lot after we beat the game. So post-game content in this game is actually post-game content. You are the person that I want to talk to now in order to get this path quest started. Though this is Camille. Hi there, you came to help, right? What I want you to do is repair this roof. Hmm? Why don't I do it myself? Well, it's kind of an embarrassing story, but I'm really lazy. But I dropped my hammer. I look around for something else to pound nails with, and I found a frying pan. But since I love cooking, I can't bring myself to pound nails with cookware. Well, how about it? Will you fix the roof with this frying pan for me? If it's cast iron, you really shouldn't have a problem with it. Yeah, I'll do it, though. Really? Oh, you're such a sweetie. And it's time to get the path quest started. Just let me know when you're ready. Okay, well, I'm ready. Oh, it looks like you're ready. Then I'll explain how to repair the roof. Go to the scaffold below and you'll see places where the roof is damaged. Stand in front of those spots and mash the OK button, the circle button. That will eventually fix the holes. Once you fix the, all of them, you're done. If you don't fix them all within one minute, though, they'll all come back. So be careful because that's how physics works. Just, anyway, just pound that, just pound that circle, sweetie. Mm. Here we go. I can't, I can't. Ready? Go. Ready? Go. All right. Just pound. Come on. I'm, I'm an expert button masher. Honestly, I haven't done this in a long time, so I'm not sure I remember where all the spots are, but it shouldn't be that big of a deal. I remember this one being a lot easier than the rotating the right analog stick one. This one shouldn't take me the full minute, based on what I remember. We will see, though. We will see how I fail this miserably now that I actually am recording it. Seem to be doing fine, though. If I remember right, there are 10 spots. And I think I've gone through seven of them. So I should be fine here, unless I've completely whiffed on one of them. Oh, this is actually going to be pretty close here. A lot closer than I thought it would be, but I should still be able to get it done. Yes, with around four seconds to spare, I have done it. Hey, that's not too shabby. Damn right it's not. I am an expert circle pounder. And we have finished the GS Path quest. You didn't think I was going to make you do it for free, did you, dear? Here you go. Here's something that is completely useless to her. Decoder number 13. Hey, you're pretty good for a rookie. Keep helping out people like this when you find them. People helping people. That's what the Foundation residents value the most. Why couldn't this have been told to us when we started? Why is this one of the last things told to us? Hey, you're doing a good job. You should keep it up. Just find people and do stuff for them. That should be something that was told on one of the first GS Path quests. Anyway, that is number 35 done. Thank you, sweetie. Now, where did that hammer go? Oh, don't you worry. It'll turn up somewhere. Camille, the nosiest old hag in the foundation. Apparently, she's an old hag. It's not great, but it looks like she trusts your work. By the way, do you know where the hammer is? I do. You might find it if you talk to enough people. But let's not tell Camille. If she can't find the hammer on her own, she'll just do the same thing to some po other poor guy. Wait, what? So then shouldn't we tell her where the hammer is? I'm just confused. I, that shouldn't be too surprising that I'm confused again, but I am indeed confused. Oh, come on. It was number 35. She should be towards the back somewhere. Where is Camille here? There she is, number 24, around halfway. She's 34. She loves gardening. 
Apparently 34 makes you an old hag in these games. Supposedly helps repair roofs. Notorious in the foundation for being a nosy old bag. Now once the, once again, what the hell? She's not that old. 34 is, like there are still professional athletes that are 34, what the hell? All right, let's take a look at the segment file. Uh, because we need to go to quite a few of these places. Uh, first one is Elsa, then uh, second Milsha, uh, then also the Izuki residence, which is also on second Milsha, Ormus Stronghold, that's gonna take some work. Uh, number 17 we don't have. Was that number 13? That's the one we just got. Back to the Arma Stronghold. Not that big of a fan of that. So, uh, we have a few places to go. I will meet you on board the Elsa, which is the first one that I want to go to. Uh, shouldn't be too hard to find. I think that's in one of the, like, private quarters. Either way, I'll meet you there. Back on board the Elsa, it is indeed one of the living quarters, the left one to be specific. Here we can find segment address door number two, which we are finally ready to decode. We've probably been ready to decode this for a while, but we're gonna get there now and get ourselves secret key number 22. This one should be quite helpful, but I have no idea what it does. So let's try to find it. As you can see, there's still a lot for us to do. Unfortunately, some of it isn't going to be available until after we beat the game, which is kind of weird. Uh, here we can find level 3 class H skill combo boost. That sounds quite good. Let's see what it is. Combo boost. Boost possible even when character icon is showing. That is indeed an awesome thing to have, but as you can see, it is equipable not passive like these other ones that make things so much easier for me so much easier after i beat the game i might just skip ahead and get that skill up 10 percent maybe it's good as well but definitely that skill up first that is the first segment file or segment address door down i'll go ahead and meet you at the izuki residence where there is another one back on oh actually we haven't really gone through the dialogue so we will head to the bridge before we go to second milsha which is where we need to go i hope that we can actually get this done the way that i want because there's still a couple things that i would like to do just in case though we'll go ahead and uh, heal up now we can head up to the bridge and hopefully Captain Matthews doesn't automatically take us to, you know, the end of the game. Hopefully he is willing to take us to second militia here. Yo, heading out? Yes. Where you wanna go? Indeed he will. All right, so uh, we do not wanna go to the Omega system just yet. We just wanna head to second militia. Okay, Tony, hit it. Uh, luckily this time he doesn't get on my ass about it like he did previously. Not so good. Hey, we do get a little scene. We probably have been getting that scene for a while and I just haven't been showing it off. Uh, but while we're here, since I've already shown off this part, we might as well uh, head back down and, and do the rest of this until we get to the Izuki residence. It's not too bad from here. But in particular, there is something that I want to show off in here. In the uh, starport, I believe it is called. Uh, we have a couple things to sell. So let's go ahead and sell off some items here. I do have quite a few of all that, but that is not what I want to sell. I wanted to sell, do I have anything that's like 99 here? No, nothing that great to be honest with you, but I do have some scrap iron. Really, do I, can I just hold it or something? No, they're, they're making me do this the long way. The scrap iron, of course, that's all this is good for. And then the junk circuit, so I want to get rid of that. That's at least putting it down a little bit quicker. But then you remember those Awakening 3s down there. We did get those from Margulis and Margulis' Shadows. I got three of those, used one, so I'm free to get rid of these. As you can see, it takes a little bit to, to get that down. But we have one-tenth done. Hooray. Yes, his, his dead hell still continues. 
even when I find this insanely rare thing and I get multiple copies of it, I'm a tenth of the way there. Total. It's absolutely ridiculous how much they want you to get, but I will get it. I will get it. Uh, actually, though, uh, speaking of post-game content, some things are actually not able for, for you to do. They're not unlocked until you beat the game. It's kind of weird. So if you're like me, you're kind of looking at the segment address file, the segment file, and you're going, well, I'm not even close to done. But here is number nine. So you're thinking, well, how do I... How do I finish this before I go to the final dungeon? And the answer is you don't. You just don't do it. Here we can find secret key number four. Yet another skill for us. Give me something good. Secret key number four. There it is. Level one, class H skill, EP regen. That sounds awesome. I might actually uh, want to go for that right now. Uh, oh no, it is equipable. Um, and you get EP, EP plus two every turn. That is indeed awesome, uh, but it's not something that I, I necessarily want all the time. Um, I might I might try it out, see how I like it, but really with all the stalking that I'm doing, I'm, I'm kind of getting that normally. But hey, we got more class points as a result. We finally were able to finish off level one so that there's not this weird blue floating thing. I will show you what it looks like when we have finished all this. We haven't really gotten anything all that spectacular in terms of skills. Uh, so that is done. I will meet you at the other segment door, which was in second Milsha. Probably the town. Back in second Milsha, back in the publishing agency. Memory serves me correctly. Second address door is hidden back here. And here we can find segment address door number three. Just like I thought, let's head inside and get our well-earned reward. Here we can find ourselves the robot part left leg. Now I do believe that is enough to get us both legs. I do believe we have both parts. Are they going to let me see my robot robot progress? I don't think they do in this game which is kind of disappointing uh if we do that yeah then we can just find the uh the left leg left arm right arm there it is right leg we did get both legs which will be very very helpful however for now i'm going to go back through the stronghold in search of that final segment address door that needs to be opened i believe it was number 11 and i'll meet you when i find it down here after an exhaustive journey and we are able to find number 13 i thought it was 11 it is indeed number 13 so let's head inside where we can finally get our well-earned treasure of the robot part head. Oh, we are completing the robot. We're getting so close. But with that done, I will meet you on board the Elsa so that we can turn in what robot parts we do have. Back on board the Elsa, ready to head down into the Robot Academy where we can hopefully get something for all our hard work. Where is the professor? Oh, and look, the type A leg ether skill earning. Wake for Xion. First, there's something I want to tell you. Hey, geezer. Captain, lay off him. He's just a little old man. Ah, uh, I can't look. Who the hell gave you permission to build something like this inside my ship? That is a good question. And it only took us the whole game to get an answer for it. See, Professor, I told you. That's a good question there, Sonny. Huh? Let me ask you this. You approved stage two of my grand plan for the mobile fortress Elsa, did you not? Huh? Ah, oh, yeah, I guess a mobile fortress does need a giant robot. You all think so too, right? 
Yeah, I guess it does need a giant robot, huh? Yeah, it sure does. So there you have it. Huh? Oh, I see. Uh, yeah, I got you. You understand too, right, Tony? Uh, yeah, right on. This is great. I never thought that was the reason. <laughs> what the hell are you talking about? Matthews continued to berate the professor for constructing the robot academy inside the Elsa. The professor tried to use his charming ways to talk his way out of the situation, but he was unable to deceive the crew of the Elsa. Now, professor, how will you get out of this predicament? Find out in the next episode. Hooray. We did it. Is there a way that I can check that with, uh, with you? At all? No, Shion. I swore there was a way for me to check it. Is it status? Ether skills? I think that is what we came up with last time, where I was able to find it in there somewhere. There we go. Air to storm, air to quake. Both of them are eight EP. We will show them off at some point. I just don't think it is usually all that good for me to use it. In can I just talk to you again? I can't. I'll unlock the type A head ether skill air to beam for Xion. But first, there's something I want to tell you. What is it this time, Professor? I appreciate your help in repairing the Elsa and all, but where the hell did you get the money to build this lab? I can't tell you that. Now that I think about it, Professor, when we went out to get the parts the other day, you were humming, I'm the great Matthews the whole time. Oh man, it sounds like we're gonna be debt in debt for a long time. What? Did you? Hey geezer, did you buy parts under my name? There's a good reason. A reason, huh? You better be brilliant or I'm tossing you out the airlock. I received an odd challenge the other day. It said that he was going to use the encephalon to conquer the world. An odd challenge? Okay. That doesn't sound very friendly. It was probably just a joke. Or do you have some reason to think it wasn't, Geezer? Uh, even someone like the professor wouldn't be involved in something like that, right? In fact, I do have such a reason. The Dark Professor. He is the only one who could possibly hold such an evil ambition. Damn it. It sounds like we've gotten mixed up in some kind of trouble again. In order to stop his evil doings, I must create a robot that is even more powerful than Air de Kaiser. So I thought being in space would be much more convenient for doing that than staying on the foundation. The Dark Professor. So, the Professor was actually fighting real evil. The crew of the Elsa is more anxious than ever before. Will Matthews allow the Professor to create a giant robot on board the Elsa? Don't take your eyes off the Robot Academy. Bring any robot parts you find to the Professor. I think I am done, but let's just check. Yeah. It's imperative that I complete my giant robot in order to bring peace to the universe. To do that, we need power that far exceeds the original Erde Kaiser. Will we be able to complete the giant robot that's apparently more powerful than the last one that we lost from the last ep from the last episode of the game? Find out next time. That is going to do it for these parts of Let's Play Xenosaga Episode 2. I've been Baller Scuba. I've been joined, as always, by my robot building squad of Junior Ziggy and Shion. Hope you guys have enjoyed these parts. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching. 